back to the channel everyone and good sunny morning today is a full maintenance day and i'm really looking forward to it as you can hear i just woke up and i want to actually get my day started like super early so i can have a full long relaxing maintenance day so let's go so i don't think i've ever had like a full maintenance day here in la which is kind of insane like i feel like i need to take i mean i feel like i take pretty good care of myself but i feel like i could do better i deserve to treat myself a little more and yesterday i started my monthly so i kind of just want to go all out i already had this like facial booked for like two weeks now so i'm gonna head over there it's in west hollywood at face gym i went to this event with cosas and it was in collaboration with face gym and then afterwards they were like we'd love to offer you guys like a free session a free facial at face gym so i'm so excited i feel like we're gonna get this face all snatched get a nice facial this is gonna be unlike any face facial i've ever had it's literally called face gym so i think you can maybe get an idea of what it's going to be like they're literally going to be like slapping my face and like doing a bunch of massaging techniques and like working out my face to get all the lymph nodes drained etc etc by the time you guys watch this actually i'm going to be in new york already but we're going to new york on tuesday so i don't really need to do like a full farmer's market run i kind of just want to go as part of my maintenance day because it's one of my most favorite activities to do on a Sunday in LA. I just love the farmer's market. So I'm hoping to find some really, really nice juicy ass peaches because I love me a peach. And when you like bite it, I'm getting, I'm getting chills right now. When you bite it and the juice like runs down your arms and it's just so, oh my, yeah. I'm gonna need that today. <laughs> Aside from that, I don't really know what I'm gonna get. I'll probably just get something to like eat for lunch or something. We'll see, I kinda just wanna go in Rome and like enjoy a Sunday market in LA. Um, I just applied this sunscreen, which I really like. I used it, I unboxed like a bunch of things yesterday. This is a brand that like, to be honest, anytime they send me PR, I kinda just like push it aside because I feel like it's for like older women skin, um, more mature skin, I guess. So I always like save it for my mom, but this actually stuck out to me. So this I actually kept, um, but it's our, it's by Rock Skincare, R-O-C. It's a multi-correction reviving glow moisturizer, but it has sun, oh, it's a moisturizer. I didn't realize, I already put moisturizer on and then this on top, but it's okay. We're just extra glowy today. Um, but it has vitamin C in it and a broad spectrum SPF 30. So I've been liking this over the past two days. I will link it. There's this new like shopping feature on YouTube now, if you guys have noticed. So like if you look directly under my video, you'll see little products that I talk about throughout the video like pop up and then you can just like purchase them directly. But I do always just link it in my description just because I know you guys have been used to that for years. So you can decide how you want to check out the products that I talk about um, in my videos. But yeah, um, it's a chemical sunscreen in case you're curious. I hate when I have to go to a facial and they're like taking off my makeup. I don't think that's ever happened because I usually come without makeup, but I just, you know, they're gonna cleanse my skin anyway. So I just feel like no one can cleanse your skin better than you, you know? Cause like the hairline and the, they're usually just so soft during facials and whatnot. So I just prefer to come in with no makeup. I'm just gonna run some clear brow gel through my brows. I did just start my monthly. So I think I'm actually gonna go get my nails done too. Uh, not like acrylics or anything. I think I'm just gonna get a clear coat, but I'm at a position where my nails look really, really pretty right now. They're like longer than usual. They're nice and healthy and they're all white and probably a pedicure as well because my toes could definitely use the same TLC. Anyways, we'll figure that out. I'm gonna get dressed real quick, put on a cute outfit. This always happens to me before I get my period. I forget that I'm about to get my period. And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, why do I look so bloated? Like I've been working out, I've been eating healthy. Why do I look like I just gained 10 pounds and then I get my period the next day and I'm like, got my answer. <laughs> We are just a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay. It's like, it just turned 10 o'clock. So it actually works out because then I don't have to like have this awkward gap between the farmer's market and my face gym appointment. It's about a 20 minute drive and I'll see y'all at the farmer's market. this 
place gets me every single time. I haven't been here in so long. So I'm so excited to show. Yeah. to the farmer's market. It is so busy today. I have not been here in like months. Like literally since the winter. So I'm excited to see what they have. Like I said, I'm looking for some good juicy peaches. So I see this place over here that has a ton. They usually have samples too. So I'm gonna go around and taste a few. I've tasted a few of them. This one is my favorite though, which I thought always the yellow peaches. Look at this fat heirloom tomato. Oh my god the size of my hand now we're leaving in two days but this just looks so good I can't help myself You guys, I'm back in the car now. I am so hot, like so incredibly hot. Who told me to wear a freaking cardigan? Whoa, in the dead of summer. Oh my lord. Okay, we're making good time. It is 11:40. I got a ton of things from the farmers market, so. I have this like insulated bag. I'm just gonna put some of the stuff that I feel like could go like bad if it gets too hot. But the thing is, the insulated bag itself I feel like is hot. So, what is a girl to do right now? Like I feel like it's gonna cook in here. I'm gonna somehow see if there's a way for me to vlog while getting the facial, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's probably not gonna be possible. So, I will just have to like explain it to you guys after or something. I don't really know. I'm gonna like see how that goes, but I still haven't eaten anything. I'm not like super hungry. I was kind of snacking on some of the samples <laughs> that um, was at the farmer's market. And well, I'm so excited to get home, just try everything. Oh, it is like the best season for like berries and peaches and just, oh, so many delicious, yummy things, so. Hi. Ontario. I'm not I'm not moving my face like this. <laughs> my facial is complete. Guys, my face looks and feels so snatched already. I think I just started new addiction. Okay, I came back to the car because I have to wait for my nail appointment and it is hot as heck. So please do not mind the AC blowing. I feel like a little Beyonce moment right now. But while I'm here, let's talk about why my husband is not with me right now. We both need space from each other and that is totally healthy, that is totally no normal. 
I feel like although this is like a maintenance day it definitely is a self-care day because I love myself and I love spending time with myself the same way that I love spending time with my husband but like we are literally on top of each other we both work at home we both obviously sleep in the same bed together we spend like almost every second of every day together and sometimes that is not the most healthy so like taking care of your mental health and like just your body and your mind your spirit things that you love to do like that is so important especially in a marriage because you'd never want to like get lost in a marriage you know a huge part of self-care and something I always recommend to people if they haven't tried it before is therapy so I want to give a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video you guys know I've been working with them for a couple years now and they are just like my go-to and I want to give you guys a little bit of a story because obviously I went through therapy I can genuinely say it changed my life but I knew that going into another relationship and a, you know a marriage I wanted to make sure that my partner was on the same page as me when it comes to therapy because I feel like it's just a major red flag when someone is opposed to trying therapy especially when that person is going to be your partner for life so I am so thankful that my husband actually signed up for therapy he actually signed up through BetterHelp because I recommended it to him and he can honestly say it has really changed his life and just like how he looks at life as well which I think is so important because like men's mental health is also not talked about a lot but for those of you who don't know what BetterHelp is and like what its services are it's an online professional therapy service um, that you can do from the comfort of your own home it's a lot more affordable than traditional therapy and you can do phone sessions video sessions you can text your therapist and it has just been such an amazing experience for me and a lot of other people that I know personally and I hope that you know if there is something going on in your life if you're dealing with any mental health issues like depression anxiety and just need a source to let you know like how to deal with those things give you the right tools to deal with those things um, then I think BetterHelp is an amazing option to get started with BetterHelp it's super easy you can sign up on my link over here it's betterhelp.com slash Aisha better help.com slash Aisha it'll also be linked in my description box and that'll actually get you 10% off your first month of therapy and when you click that link and sign up it'll take you through a questionnaire just to get to know you better and see what your needs are when it comes to therapy and they will match you with a professional license therapist and you can usually start your sessions in under a few days and because therapy is a little bit like online dating you may not get it right on the first try uh, which is totally fine you can switch your therapist at no additional cost you don't have to deal with any network providers or anything like that I think that's super important as well and, and probably one of my favorite parts about BetterHelp because you want to make sure you are finding a therapist that is right for you like just the same way as like a random dude on the street is not gonna probably be your husband you know you want to find a therapist that like meets your needs gives you the satisfaction of what you get out of therapy and gives you the right tools to deal with your everyday life so whether you're struggling or just need some extra self-care and some extra tools to deal with your everyday life be sure to check out betterhelp.com slash Aisha for 10% off your first month of therapy and again I will have the link below and thank you thank you so much to BetterHelp for always supporting this channel and just changing how mental health is portrayed in this world anyways it is two o'clock it's gonna take me about five ish minutes to get to the salon so I'm gonna get going right now because I have to use the bathroom as well she did tell me after I got my um, lymphatic drainage and like I feel like my face looks so good oh my god but she did tell me I'm gonna be like peeing a lot because it's gonna be draining so I have to like replenish with water and all of that and I guys look at my cheekbones she said I'm gonna notice the biggest difference tomorrow so like if I already look this good I can't I can't even imagine how snatch I'm gonna be tomorrow like we're gonna be Beyonce tomorrow <laughs> all right these are what my nails look like before they don't look bad or anything but they definitely need to shape up my cuticles are struggling and I just want to get I'll probably do like a clear polish since I'm on my period anyways and the same for my toes and I'm excited I haven't got my nails done in forever it's been kind of confusing because I'm like filming for TikTok and then also trying to do this YouTube video but I went to Starbucks I got a grande but she upgraded me to a venti so not complaining tastes delicious but I'm standing on sunset right now and in case you guys have never seen this area if you are familiar with um, the show selling sunset that is their office literally right over there I don't know if you'll be able to like really tell but 
This is the Oppenheim group. And, oh, I feel like that's cool. <laughs> oh, here's the salon actually. Just left the salon and I'm so happy with the results. I mean, the nails, honestly, they're very, very basic, but that's all I really wanted. But my toes, I've never, <laughs> I don't think I've ever painted my toes before. Or like, if I did, it must have been in like high school or something. So like every time I look down, I'm like, oh, my toes are white and they look so cute. I have cute toes, at least right now. Usually they are never very cute, so I am fully embracing the fact that I can wear nail polish this week. But I do have to remember, I mean there's CVS everywhere, but I do have to remember to bring some like, nail polish remover for when I get to New York. You see how cute they are? They're so cute. Anyways, right now, See, like I want to go shopping but there's really nothing I need <laughs> but I think I might still go to the Grove anyways um, and just like walk around a little bit maybe go into Sephora see if there's any like travel size things I need to pick up and then I'll head back home and get started on like cooking or so or oh okay this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head home or sorry I'm gonna go to the Grove then I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna marinate the chicken while that's marinating, I'm gonna wash and blow dry my hair. Possibly straighten it. I'm not 100% sure if I wanna like dedicate all that time to doing my hair today. But I did buy the new Color Wow. Well, it's not new, but it's a Color Wow like spray, extra strength like humidity spray. And it's supposed to like keep your hair straightened for a long time. So I'm gonna test that out probably tonight, honestly. My curiosity is gonna kill me. And then we can grill. So honestly. I need to do this like every other Sunday because I'm having like the most amazing day. <laughs> you know when y'all are like planning to go somewhere and then you just like somehow end up on your phone? <laughs> That's kind of what just happened to me. So, uh, are these people gonna let me in? I don't know. Okay, I don't think he will. Anyways, I'm finally headed to the Grove. Um, I literally just like sat on my phone for 30 minutes, uploading an Instagram. So head to my Instagram page at Aisha Harun to see what I just posted. But today's a good ass day, like a really, really good day. I'm very happy. I'm also very hungry. So I'm like considering going to Erwan and getting like my favorite sandwich there although i've already had it once this week so i don't know if it's wise getting it again but i might do it anyways <laughs> something at Skims every single time I come to Nordstrom, so I got a bodysuit. <laughs> Shopping has been 
a success so far. I went to Nordstrom and I just got a bodysuit from Skims because I can never resist. And then I came into Vince because I always have to come here anytime I go to the Grove. And I have this dress in black and I've been dying to get another color. And I'm thinking this orange is gonna do it. It's so pretty. My camera battery is of course dying, so hopefully I can get one clip of it on me. Okay, love the orange, but I think I'm gonna get it in a size up just so it's a little bit more oversized. So hopefully they have it in stock here. going home. I also went into Aritzia as you guys saw and just picked up a few essentials. Um, this one top that I have loved for like forever. I wanted to get the black version because I have an ivory version so I got that and actually met a subscriber in there. She was a worker that also moves here from Toronto so she's watching this. Hello! <laughs> Thanks for being so sweet. Um, I spent way too much money so I need to get out of here. I've literally still not eaten anything all day. I'm so hungry, so there's an air one like right by the grove. I'm just gonna go here and get some like cauliflower or something just from their hot bar because I'm gonna be grilling tonight and I wanna like save my appetite for that, but I genuinely like need to eat right now or I'm gonna faint. <laughs> I do not recommend starving yourself this long. But you know when you're just busy, like it just would take too much time to like eat, you know? horrible way to think but <laughs> went to air one I got oh my eyes watering because of this air conditioning but I got the cauliflower buffalo cauliflower this stuff is so good mm. they like just pulled it out of the um, the cooker the oven I don't know when they when I got there it's nice and hot and fresh this is hitting like every spot <laughs> so, got a juice because I'm obsessed with this and it's so funny I feel like every time I get a sponsorship <laughs> I become obsessed with the product that I'm talking about I um, went to Origins event for this like mega mushroom drink that they did in collaboration with Air One, and I also did like a partnership with them for my TikTok, the little taste test, and it's literally so good. It's twelve dollars though, so it's kind of expensive, but you get a lot of juice in here, and this has like a bunch of like mushroom benefits in it too. And it has like sea moss and like a bunch of other things that are like really delicious. And it's super healthy. I think it's only, it doesn't really say how many calories it is, but I would probably assume it to be like 100 to 110 calories or something like that. Very, very necessary. 
um, I think tonight I took out some chicken thighs so I'm gonna marinate those when I get home and then grill I brought some corn I already told you guys all this but corn zucchini I'm gonna grill all that and then we'll probably have dinner around like 8 30 I don't know if I'm gonna get to my hair today though do I want to? But also I don't hate the idea of doing it tomorrow. So we'll see. Maybe I'll like, excuse me. Maybe I'll like wash and blow dry my hair tonight. And then tomorrow I'll straighten it. Cause I'm gonna be working out tomorrow too. And I don't wanna like sweat it out before New York, so. Or I could test the wow, the wow hair product. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get home, y'all. <laughs> you know, we broke up and, and, and I just was like, I will never talk to this person again. The way they made me feel, I will never talk to them again. And after I started to um, go through therapy and I have an emotional support coach that I talk to, um, after which, by the way, therapy like we're, we're we're benefiting from therapy i just really wish that it was free for every person around the world i really 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 do wish that there was a fund that everybody could access for where they could have therapy they could have somebody to talk to and work through i do believe that we will be in a much better shape as a community as a nation as a world it's like you are going to thank this person because you know what this person did for you they forced you to deal with something that you were not going to deal with. They pushed you to go back to the root of the problem. You were not going to do it. You were moving. You were too busy moving. You didn't have time. But that relationship, the ending of that specific relationship forced that. And I literally called that person and I thanked them. I said, thank you so much. You have no idea. Like I was really walking around here hurt and you forced me to like, you know, and so they started sharing things with me. They were just like, I just wasn't ready. I was confused myself. I did not trust. It was going so well for, for us. I'm so used to chaos that I didn't, I felt like this was not going to end how I wanted it to end. I, I'm also dealing with rejection issues. So we just kind of healed through each other. And and that and, and, and it helped me in my other relationships. I was like, here are, the, here are the things that I was doing because of my trauma. When I'm free from that trauma, I'm like a really, really, really like beautiful partner to have. This wagon always comes in clutch. and I'm gonna just wash everything that I got and just set it on these towels so that I can just like use them whenever I need to. Everything smells so like just so pungent because it's been like in a hot car all day. Absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. We've been obsessed with corn this season. I just like pop them on the grill and it's just so sweet and delicious. That's the one great thing about going to the farmer's market. You can always get like in season fruits and veggies, which like automatically just taste 10 times better. The only thing is, last week I got an heirloom tomato from the farmer's market. <laughs> A different one than I usually go to and when I sliced it open there was literally a caterpillar inside of the tomato like in like this top 
Like I sliced it pretty deep and there was just a caterpillar living on the inside. Don't ask me if I still ate the other side because the answer may be yes, but I was desperate. <laughs> Tons of yellow peaches. So I think I'm gonna grill half of them tonight. And then the other half I'm gonna eat for breakfast tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. The raspberries definitely got the most affected <laughs> in the heat because they're kind of like mushy now, but mm. a little bit sour. The strawberries are definitely the best in season at this time. Got everything nice and washed. Oh, I love this. It makes me so happy. I cannot wait to bite into one of these peaches. I kind of want one like right now, but I don't want to spoil my appetite. I might do it anyways. famous chicken because I have been obsessed with it. Let's call it Aisha's famous grilled summer chicken because this recipe has been on repeat for me. I have, I'm actually using chicken thighs today. I usually use chicken breast, but today without thighs, which if I'm honest, I actually prefer because I feel like they have a lot more like juiciness. You know the term thick thighs save lives like that? That works perfectly for chickens as well. <laughs> Anyways, honestly, I don't really count how much garlic I usually use. I just use as many as I feel like I need. I season with the soul, you feel me? Or seven cloves if you must know. I'm gonna do a nice coat of avocado oil, like three-ish tablespoons all sides. That was onion powder. I have smoked paprika, chili powder, chipotle powder, lemon pepper, salt, sweet baby rays, Worcestershire sauce, and the avocado and then I also have some limes in here which I'm gonna squeeze over top so for the seasoning I'm probably doing about I don't know a teaspoon to two teaspoons each but like I said I measure with the soul so who really knows I'll list this in the ingredients below though in case you want to follow along I definitely put way more than a teaspoon of chipotle powder, but that one's my favorite. I just feel like it gives it such a delicious, smoky flavor. Can't forget the lemon pepper. being totally honest I prefer to do this with my hands but I just got a manicure and I don't have any gloves so we're just gonna have to use tongs instead I'm gonna let that sit and marinate for a little bit and then work on just seasoning the veggies very lightly and then we can go grill it's currently it's like 751 so We'll probably be eating around like nine o'clock to be honest. They rubbing everywhere, bro. It's all over my feet. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure how to slice like, those like floral looking zucchinis, so I'm just slicing it in disc. I think this should be good because then we'll get some nice char marks. 
crazy out there. Yeah, it's like the fifth store I've seen all different locations. People get caught. Doing shit like that is never worth it. <laughs> You're watching a bunch of videos on it. I'm not even trying to find this stuff. It keeps popping up. <laughs> Attention, a big pocket. I feel like it's so dumb because, like, they're gonna eventually see who was driving, you know? Shouldn't be so fast? Well, no, like, like, uh, tra what's it called? There's cameras everywhere. No, they, could, they could literally find, like, because, I mean, I've seen it on TV, but I'm sure it's the same here too, but like CCTV coverage? Yeah. Like,. They don't, they, they don't care as much, too. They could literally track that all the way down to their house. Look how pretty these are. Aren't they so pretty? Mm -hmm. mm. Can you help me? Can you take this pit out? Oh, oh damn. You took out the whole core with it. The whole core? <laughs> We're not supposed to do that. It's okay. It's strong. Okay, can you do this one too? But like, stick one finger here, stick this, and then like try to just get the pit out by itself. Oh, there you go. You know? Yeah. It's so dark out here, so please forgive me. I feel like there's some sort of like electrical issue going on at my building, but I got the chicken on the grill and then I have the peaches here as well. I figured I would do the peaches first and then I'll just reheat them later on just because I don't want to get them like all gross with all the veggies, so that is what's for dinner. We have some chicken thighs on here. Hopefully they turn out good and then peaches and then I should probably throw the corn on now actually that usually takes a while Bigger. This only has three. You got more zucchini? 
Eat that first. Put this there too, please. Wait. Yeah, there is absolutely no way on God's green earth that I am washing my hair tonight. <laughs> That's gonna be for tomorrow. Yeah, you're washing. I really thought that I was gonna come home, do a full wash day, blow dry, and straighten my hair tonight. I know. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I don't eat all day. Yes, you have. You say you had tuna. It's where yeah, my hand wrapped you belongs. How's the chicken? Delicious. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Y'all need to see this. Yeah, it is. I, I kind of snapped, I'm not gonna lie. Grilled to perfection. Mm hmm. That, that part's a little burnt, but it's okay. That's the best part. Mm hmm. This is delicious, huh? Have I finally perfected it? Seriously. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna I'm a list the recipe down below so I don't forget it. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm exhausted. I'm gonna eat my food. Actually, I kind of want to taste this corn. And I overcooked it though. I think I prefer the foil way. Mm. That flavor's there though. Mm -mm -mm. You were with him for 10 years. Fire. Damn Anyways, it's we're watching, what is this called? Perfect. Perfect fit. Oh, the perfect find. Perfect find. Gabrielle, with Gabrielle Union. Union. He picked it out. So that's what we're going to watch today. And thanks for following me along this beautiful, glorious Sunday. Don't know what I'm going to do for my night routine, but I seriously have no more energy to continue this vlog. <laughs> It's facials together. Facials together? Aww. Okay, maybe I will vlog. We'll see. But if not, thanks for watching. Subscribe and goodbye.